Sue it. Bitch. What's up my ninjas? I'm Strident and I am back with another review. This time it is the NECA Predator series Dutch. I think this is what the jungle, what do they call this? Jungle Extraction Dutch? I could be wrong, but this was the first one that popped up with the, uh, or the second one, I'm sorry, that popped up. I want the one with the, uh, uh, the jacket and the cigar, because man, you know me. But anyway, as an Arnold fan, like lifelong, from like before I could really form my own opinion, you know, being exposed to Conan the Barbarian as your first movie, it's a wrap. So finally having an Arnold figure, like it actually is the likeness of Arnold. And he's a, a large figure too. I'm just, man. And it's crazy how they got the likeness so good. I mean, it almost looks exactly like the posters, the various posters and the covers of the various Predator DVDs, you know? I actually have one and I'm gonna show you in a second, but this thing is just, it's so like simple, but it's so well done. And the uh, materials, for once NECA made a figure out of pretty strong materials. But you see that? The likeness is just like ridiculous. Granted, this is a little bit more chromatic than the figure is, but it looks just like him. It's ridiculous, it's awesome. They got everything on point with him from the paint, the sculpt, they even used a different type of plastic so you get that kind of luminosity from, through his uh, you know, skin tone. They've been doing that since the Rocky figures and I, I have to say it looks good. As far as accessories, man, his holster opens up so you can actually take out his freaking Deagle, which is nice. The M16 looks awesome. It looks exactly like the M16 in the movie. That's the way it should be if you're making a movie line, you know what I mean? I don't know what Hasbro's problem is. The Deagle, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It should be a little bit bigger, in my opinion. If you've ever seen one in real life, then you know those things are pretty big and they're heavy. Um, but, you know, I guess compared to Arnold, it can be smaller. You know what I'm saying? But it looks good. Nice paint. Sculpt's good. And the holster's soft but pliable. You know, it's not... And, and I should say durable. It's soft, but durable. It's not going to fall apart with use. You know, you're going to have to really, really do some things to screw that up. Um, he has a knife on the other side. Now, the knife, I wish, was bigger because you saw him stab a man to a wall with the damn knife. But, you know, it's Arnold. He probably could still use a small one and stab a man up against the wall. <laughs> you never know. But, you know, God, this thing will not, it will not focus for its life. But it's good. It fits in the whole. I mean, the sheath perfectly. Um, his vest is removable as well. I'm not going to take that off because it's a pain to put back on. But it is removable, so it gets out of the way when you you know pose him. His articulation is really good. It's really not too much to complain about. The thing I love the most about the figure too is uh, a lot of the joints are hidden. You know what I mean? They did things to 
kind of hide the joints. They even got the hand. And if you've ever seen uh, uh, a lot of Arnold's movies, and you look at how he holds a gun, <laughs> that's exactly his hand, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if it's something specific to him, but it's him. But the joints are really well done. They're perfectly stiff. He has kind of like a SH Figure Arts hand joint. And the, um, the diaphragm joint on this guy is actually good for a change, you know? So NECA's actually up and up, you know, stepping up their game. I mean, he even has a, a waist joint. The, uh, he has ball socketed hips. And I like how that joint is, it kind of goes underneath, like the uh, McFarlane, uh, kind of like the Walking Dead figures, which I have to review a couple of those because I'm kind of like, ugh. But, you know, he's got a swivel and a bend at the knee. He's got ankle rockers, and he's got the, you know, he can point his foot, and he's got the boot cut. It's just the perfect articulation for someone like Arnold. You know what I mean? Like, Arnold doesn't run around doing backflips unless you were watching The Last Action Hero or Eraser. So, um, you know, this guy is it's the perfect articulation for a man his size. They got the musculature down. It's shit. I mean, I'm, I practically have to make shit up for the rest of this, <laughs> for the rest of the review, because it's really not that much more for me to say. They nailed it. They completely nailed it. There's nothing left to really, you know, complain. I have no, I have no gripes, none whatsoever. I mean, they could have given us extra hands, maybe, maybe an extra head with a different expression. You know, a get, a get to the chopper head. You know, get to the chopper. That would have been cool, but, you know, that's all preferential. You don't need it. It just would enhance, you know, the, the, the awesomeness that is this figure. So, straight up, if you see him, you probably should pick him up. It's definitely worth him. I'm, I know now it's this one and the uh, final battle version where he's all covered in mud and shit. And sometimes they have the, uh, the thermal vision version which to me is kind of ugly i don't like those kind of gimmick figures you know because the figure underneath is worth it but the uh all that paint and strange colors doesn't do it for me so this is where it's at this one or the jungle extraction um dutch so awesome figure <laughs> just awesome all around this is one of the few times i didn't have anything to complain about awesome paint everything the likeness is perfect just pick him up <laughs> strident <laughs> that's my story and i'm sticking to it peace